Hi and welcome to part 5. This week we're going to have a look at rejuvenating your window seals uh, and your door seals. Whichever seals you've got you can do it uh, using this particular method. Then we will be having a look at how to clean your Thetford toilet cassette. A bit of a dirty job I'm afraid but it is something that will benefit you in the long run. Now if you haven't subscribed yet please press the subscribe button and the uh, little bell down by the side of it which will give you an email as soon as I upload a new video. Makes it a lot easier than trying to find it. In the meantime have a good evening and hope you enjoy. Coming from an English caravan, yes there was lime scale inside the tank as well as just normal uh, dirt and you can see it was quite bad and really needed doing. I did use some CLR in the water and also soaked everything in CLR. I used ordinary silicon on the rubbers. Now that is the overflow. Now that does need cleaning inside as you can see and it's very simple just prise it off with a screwdriver and give it a good wash and clean. You can see now that the inside of the tank has come nice and clean and it's back to almost brand new condition. It was not that easy but the scrubbing brush and CLR worked very well. Now you can see there's a wee magnet on the end of the uh, float that I clean to make sure that it gives contact and switches the light on on top of the Thetford unit so you know when the tank is full. Now it's all gleamingly finished and I use silicon just as a spray and around all of the rubbers and now there is no leaks in the tank and no smell emanating from it at all either. Now some caravans just may uh, leak through the inside of the window perspex through the seal which is right down here let's get in a little bit closer and I can show you which seal and it's this big seal on the outside and it leaves water pooling in here and it can of course run down and it's protected of course by that gap which is an air gap to keep the air circulating around the back of the seat up from the bottom so you're not completely shut off from oxygen but that seal goes all the way around the window and is quite important to you now as my caravan hasn't been uh, washed for a while we can see there's a dirty mark going down here and this is the seal that we're going to rejuvenate uh, using a toothbrush yet again. There's many uses for a toothbrush in a caravan. I don't know whether you can see this but just along here there is a bright patch on the rubber seal. This is telling me that that has got a build up on it which needs to be removed to allow this to spring out just a little bit more. With the window being closed a lot of the time, it flattens this down and it gets a shape sort of put into it. We want to release that little bit of shiny bit. In fact, all the way around, we'll clean that up. Something we all suffer from is this glue that seems to come out. It's like a putty that comes out around the things and it's fairly easy to get rid of with a blunt pen knife. I've got a wee chisel end on the end of this but it's just a matter of going round the rubber very carefully. You don't have to press it in and just lightly score the glue and then you can go around and get it off. Now it's fairly warm today and just take it off and it comes off quite easily 
get the majority of it off make sure you don't put this the the bits and pieces on the driveway if you're on the driveway because it sticks to your shoes and then tramps inside if you don't take your shoes off following that it's just a I've got some turps in here onto a rag and the turps gets rid of the of the bits that come off and it also gets rid of hopefully a few marks just around there as well but that looks infinitely better than what you would normally see with the glue just drooping down now let's start on the rejuvenating the rubbers now the tools that you will need for this the trusty dental brush or you could use a nail brush of that sort of thing and I use a solution no not of air wick but of water and about 15 to 20 percent Fenwick's in a nice spray bottle. These bottles give a very fine spray so very very useful indeed. You start by spraying the the rubber seal Just let it soak for a minute or two and then attack it quite vigorously with the toothbrush. I think she's falling to pieces at the moment but this If it gets dry, which this one has a little bit, just put some more on. And then with a damp cloth, And that's now come up very similar to a new seal. When that's all clean, I use uh, silicon spray, which uh, I buy from Repco. It's it's a good silicon spray. And then, oops. spray of silicon and just the cloth to smooth it all in. Take it off the van. <clears throat> and another spray, just a light spray. And leave that to dry. Just for a 
probably 10-15 minutes. You can wipe it off after that. It's done its job. I think the worst place was round the door. There was an awful lot of putty coming out of there and that now tends to look if we just move back from it a little bit a lot cleaner round the door it looks like a new door now this is where we're working what a beautiful view isn't it what the sea in the background the tide is coming in beautiful day while we had the time I took time off and cleaned all of the windows right round the caravan so it's been quite a long video of this on just a couple of subjects so I'll say cheers for now and have a good trip and enjoy yourselves